How people write words on a page has subconscious tells that are easy to pick up on if you know what to look for. Today I'm going to tell you all the patterns and pattern changes that I look for when I'm trying to tell a little bit more about what a person actually thinks based on their handwriting. If you're new, my name is Leah. I'm so close to 100,000 subscribers, so please subscribe if you're new. Special thanks to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited to tell you more about them, but more about them later. One of the first things I look for is size change. If someone is writing normally, but then they make one word in specific bigger or smaller every time, you know they think a little bit differently about that word. So if one word specifically is larger, it indicates importance. They're letting this word take up space. If it's the opposite and you notice a word shrinking, it indicates they don't want that word taking up a lot of space in their life. By making it smaller, they're minimizing it, diminishing it. You know that there's some sort of negative association with that word, whatever it may be. When I'm talking about specific words, I'm not talking about words like the or and. I'm talking mainly about big nouns or proper nouns like names. Some examples would be like school, work, mom, dad, money, any sort of subject that a person can have an opinion on. Next thing I'll look for is a shift in the baseline. The baseline is the imaginary line underneath the words. So is it rising all of a sudden on certain words specifically? Is it dropping on certain words specifically? If it's rising, it indicates positive feelings. It indicates excitement, like their hand is lifting off. Sometimes it indicates someone who's like too excited, like a little overzealous. They don't really have their feet on the ground but generally a positive thing to see. If you see that a sentence is dropping, especially if it's on a specific word, it indicates depression, fatigue, general feelings of negativity. If it's happening the whole time, then that's something else completely. But if it's just happening on when they're just talking about their flamingo tattoo, you know they feel negatively about that tattoo versus do they feel negative in general? No, if it's just happening in that word. There are different nuances to this trait, like, like words that go up in steps or words that arc upwards or arc downwards. That's pretty advanced stuff. But also if you just see individual words that are lifted a little bit or dropped a little, same thing. Are they enthusiastic and giving it importance or are they not so excited about it? Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand based in New York. They make some of the most beautiful, yet simple, yet detailed, affordable jewelry with the fairest prices for some high quality jewelry. This, this, this is amazing. To check them out, click the link in the description box. Use my code to get 20% off. They sent me the gorgeous, gorgeous green Pendant. They also sent me the ring version of this to match, so I gave that to Liam. So we can, I don't know, we can match and it's very romantic. I've got the simple flat, beautiful flat gold plated chain and this simple chain, which is just another example of like the beautiful simple details of their jewelry. They also offset 100% of their carbon footprint. All of their packaging is so simple, no plastic, beautiful, reusable, no plastic on the tags either, just a little bit of string. They offer a two year warranty. If you're not totally satisfied, they'll send you a replacement or reimbursement, no questions asked. Such an amazing investment. I may even use my own code because I kind of want more of this stuff. Thank you, Ana Luisa, again, for sponsoring this video. Next thing I look for is spaces. This is a little bit different. You're specifically looking for where spaces are longer than usual. If there's a sudden long space, it means the, the writer took longer to think about what they're gonna write next. So they were really thinking about what that next word is gonna be. It can indicate lying. In fact, it often indicates lying. But moreover, it indicates someone who's thinking and not being as spontaneous for whatever reason. And it happens because as your brain is coming up with what you're gonna say next, your hand is still moving across the page until you figure out what you're gonna say. Next thing I'm looking for is slant changes. This is pretty straightforward to pick up on. Does the slant lean forward suddenly on a certain word? It indicates they're excited about what they're talking about. They're emotionally forward. They're leading with their heart, being spontaneous and free, and they're, ex they're generally excited about 
what they're talking about. Does it suddenly change from being forward to upright to straight, no, no slant? This would indicate head over heart, thinking more logically. They're kind of reeling themselves back in. Now, does the slant change all of a sudden to a back slant? This would indicate instead of someone reeling themselves in, it means they're withdrawing. They're emotionally withdrawing from what they're talking about or what they're writing about. I often find this happen in diary entries where like the first couple sentences in the diary entry is them just kind of stalling, 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 and then they talk about something awful that happens that day. And then you see the recline, the emotional withdrawing happening because it's hard for them to write about. Next up, changes in angularity. If I showed you two different samples of handwriting, one that had a lot of angles in it and one that didn't really have any angles in it, and I asked you which writer is more likely pissed off, you'd probably say the one with angles. You would hopefully say the one with angles. So if you notice in someone's handwriting that suddenly the handwriting gets angular on certain words or, or while writing about a certain subject. This indicates feeling angry about what they're writing about. You don't know what specifically they're angry at. They could be angry at the person that they're writing about or the thing that they're writing about. They could be angry at the situation itself. They could be angry at themselves. It just indicates anger in general because it's like tension. It takes a lot of bodily tension to make angles and go in one direction, stop, go the other direction, stop. It just indicates anger. There are more subtle ways that anger can be present in handwriting and that's the presence of anger ticks. It looks like at the end of the line, a little flick or a little tick at the end of the line. And this can be useful to know if you're looking at someone who has very, very controlled handwriting. So it's, it's harder to notice these pattern changes. But if you know to look for anger ticks and you see there are anger ticks happening just when they write the word work, there's all these anger ticks happening. Or just when they're talking about their day at work and you notice all these anger ticks and everywhere else there's no anger ticks, it's like, you know, they feel angry about it. Next thing, change in pressure. If the pressure gets firmer, it indicates passion, but also frustration. It usually couples with angles, so it's usually another anger indicator, but in general, it just indicates like a lot of passion, a lot of energy towards what they're writing about. Versus if pressure gets lighter, this indicates anxiety, nervousness, especially if the writer can barely keep the pen on the page, like the pressure's so light that the pen is lifting off the page. This is an indicator of some pretty severe anxiety. Anxiety. Next more fun thing to look for is designs. Designs or decorations around certain words is a huge clue to someone deeply liking what they're writing about. And some things have more obvious meanings and some have less obvious meanings. Hearts indicate love, stars indicate importance, smiley faces are different. They essentially indicate this everything is fine message. Smiley faces are not subconscious like the way someone writes the word mom is. They are done intentionally. They are put there for a reason. So usually that reason being either I mean no harm or everything is fine doesn't mean the smiley face isn't genuine. It just means it's intentional. Next thing is anything phallic. With the exception of like children or teenagers, if you see adults somehow having phallic imagery in their handwriting, usually it's on accident, like someone's signature just happens to look phallic or someone, the way they circle something or the way they draw a heart, this indicates a need for male attention. Next thing is illegibility. If a certain word each time is illegible, it means they don't really care about it. That's also why deeply illegible signatures often indicate depression because it's like the signature indicates the self and like the public image. If it's illegible, it's like you don't care about yourself. There are so many other reasons for signatures and handwriting in general to be illegible. So I wanna make that very clear, but I bring it up anyways. Next, margins. Is the left margin moving forward? Then they're excited about what they're talking about. They're so excited that their wrist keeps going, keeps moving forward each time. The other reason could be that they're on a time crunch and that's why the margin is moving forward. If it's moving backwards, if that left margin is moving backwards, it also indicates this person emotionally withdrawing. It indicates caution, nervousness, whatever they're writing about, it's not easy for them. There's something else going on. So that's everything. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time. Bye. So glad I got to work with them. Any time they want to work with me, I, I'm obsessed with them. Thank you, Ana Luisa. You're a queen.